welcome to my channel it's Paige here and we are going to be doing another video reborn with me video and in today's video we're going to be doing a neutralizing layer on our cute little baby sculpt Shannon and so we're going to be neutralizing her with Genesis blue number five titanium white and you're gonna need your half inch mop brush and a flower palette also your odorless thinner. So you just take a half a half a tablespoon of your odorless thinner and we're going to add a touch of the blue using our fourth inch mop brush. A touch is just a touch is just a tiny bit of paint on the end of your brush. So with a touch of just pat it lightly and add it to your flower palette. And then we're gonna do two brush strokes of our white, our titanium white, to make this blue wash. And the reason why we're neutralizing our kit is because we wanna get our kit to be a nice, fair, pale flesh tone color. And right now she's a little bit on the peach side. So take your half inch mop brush and we're gonna add two brush strokes of the, of the white. Be sure you have your brush cleaner handy so that you can keep your brushes nice and conditioned and clean. I'm just tapping lightly into that paint, not digging it out, just tapping lightly to cover the bristles. And then we're just gonna mix that really well with our mop brush to create a neutralizing wash for our reborn babies. I neutralize all of my kits, even the Bountiful Baby kits need to be warmed up a bit. So it depends on the color of your sculpt, what color you're going to be using for your kit. If your sculpt is very peach, or orangey colored, then you would want to neutralize with, with the blue or a mint green. And then I'm just using my big fluffy mop brush to get that paint on as quickly as I can so that I'm not spending a lot of time painting. And then we'll just take a cosmetic wedge and we're just gonna pounce, pounce that all over your baby's vinyl to soak up the extra paint. And be sure to get in all of the nooks and crannies and the creases, creases of her fingertips, in between her fingers, and just pounce and get as much of the extra paint as you can off of the vinyl. Because we want it to be a nice, soft wash of paint not dripping. So today's baby, we, we are doing uh, the prototype Shannon and I've used her in a previous video, but I made my little Shannon baby in the previous video. She was blonde with a lot of thick blonde hair and I want to create another, um, prototype of Shannon with just a tiny bit of hair this time. So we're going to be painting this kit again and just give her a light, a light little sprinkling of hair and not so much thick hair. Just continuing Get, just continue to add your paint to your baby's vinyl and then pounce off with your cosmetic wedge. 
and I'll link in the description box below the paint colors that I use for this tutorial and also the supplies that you'll need will also be linked in the description box below and just pounce all over with your cosmetic wedge once you have the paint all um, absorbed onto the cosmetic wedge you don't have any pools of paint anywhere then you need to put her on your drying rack and let the odorless thinner evaporate and what we like to call that is flashing off so as the as the odorless thinner evaporates it will look dry to the touch and then you will put her in your new wave oven to bake if this is the first time watching one of my videos, well, welcome. And just so I can introduce myself to everyone, I'm a reborn artist and I enjoy painting reborn babies and making accessories for them. I do custom like pacifier chains. I also do custom um, outfits for my babies. So if you enjoy that kind of content, um, you might want to like and subscribe because I will be showing how to customize your own little baby pacifier chains and outfits. They're coming home outfits. Once you are completely done, um, painting your reborn baby with the brushes make sure you clean them in your brush cleaner and i only use a couple of inches of brush cleaner in my little jar because you don't want to ruin the handles of your brushes you want to keep them nice also i clean my palette with um with a paper towel or a cosmetic um sponge or makeup pad just to keep your palettes nice and clean and tidy as well when you're all finished uh, pouncing the the paint on your baby's vinyl Make sure you check all the creases. Make sure there isn't any paint that is gathered in the creases or in the wrinkles of the baby's vinyl. And get all of the paint blended really well before you bake in your new wave oven. At 265 for eight minutes. Make sure you check behind her ears and under her chin and in her neck area. Make sure you get all of the paint that is gathered there. And also notice I'm using a larger paintbrush to just balance that baby's head so that I can hold it securely and not get any fingerprints on it. Also, Make sure you wear vinyl gloves so that you don't get any of your hand oils on the baby, the baby sculpt. Also, it keeps your hands from getting the paint as well all over you. Keeps your hands nice and clean. And then we're just going to set her aside to flash off or dry to the touch before we put in our new wave oven on 265 degrees for eight minutes all right thanks for watching everyone bye